Now, this next one's pretty straightforward, but you should enjoy it because you've already gotten to a flow at this point. You've got a really big set of test cases, and so you should be able to have a little fun to experiment on how you write tests, for example. Let's start improving our testing skills and writing skills instead of doing all this imperative stuff. Let's think more functional. Let's think in pipelines, right? I RxJS or Compose, Promise Chains, right? So we're going to take this null insertions. We're going to literally copy the requirement so I don't have to think about like what the the actual wording of it is. And we're going to copy and paste it. Copy pasta, TDD, because I'm lazy. And we'll paste inside the quotes here. And no more letting in. No more. We're done. You can't write imperative code and functional code. We're done. So we're going to start with empty. And then we're going to go add uno. And then we're going to go add an empty string. And it's the first. So we're going to hope it really screws things up. We're going to take that array and count it. How, how long is array length, right? And then we're going to say we expect that to equal one because we have one item. So we're going to hit save. And it should fail, not because of a comma. <laughs> It should fail because it's expecting two items because it allows blanks. So let's go fix blanks. This one's pretty straightforward. It could be done, you know, more functional or better, but again, minimum amount of code to make the test pass, not the minimum amount of awesome looking tests. So we're going to say if item equals an empty string, then return the array, <laughs> right? Else you can do the good stuff. Save. Oh, and our test passed. Fantastic. And if you want to be paranoid, change it to four just to see it fail. And it's like, no, dude, it's one. So that's how you can get rid of duplicates. But you can still practice other things, right? Doing TDD. You can still practice getting better at code. You can practice getting better at writing tests and learning new things. And the compiler is still there to help you.